Hello. Hi. How are you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Wonderful galactic meeting. So we're uh, go moving from a synchronistic dream connection to a few little uh, interactions where some maps were sent and you were doing ceremony and now we're chatting and we know nothing about each other. Perfect, isn't it? So how about, how about I, I, maybe I act as a bit of an interviewer at the beginning. Please do that. And uh, if you don't mind me uh, asking a few questions and then <laughs> dive into systems integration or whatever comes up. Okay, so what, what's your claim to fame? What would you say is your, your main um, stream right now in terms of where you're heading? So calm, so abstract. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay, maybe that wasn't the best question. Uh. <laughs> that wasn't. That wasn't. Well, okay, how, how about, about I turn that, that 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 question to you, so I kind of know the paraphrasing way of explaining. Okay. So, yeah. You're you're giving it back to me. No, I'm the interviewer. No, I'm asking you the no, question. No, I'm going back, so I understand that kind of the really the kind of sequence and how, how what kind of language is strike on you so i will understand what would be the best way to answer that question really hmm. so where's my stream heading i would say that uh well right now one of the, the main organizations i'm working with is lisiel in terms of uh, uh looking at a, a potential program for the new year so there's a there's a connection i guess between us there and the um and I mean, I've been developing an operating system, which I sent you some maps for called the inflow matrix operating system and uh, the new paradigm toolkit, which has maps, game boards, card sets, processes and software. So basically creating tools to help individuals, teams, organizations and communities to move from the old paradigm to the new paradigm. Maybe I'll change my map. Do you ever change your backgrounds on the Zoom? I hardly do that. Okay. So, well, how about this? Given the information that I've sent you so far, what in it interested you? No, no, no. Generally speaking, how I operate is purely uh, the opposite of a yin yang, but the same thing. The, the other side of the corn. To be, to be frankly, I only, I just constantly do signals and, uh, and uh, in, the ideal scenario, I could be in quite a communion of the field, um, which is can be small as myself or bigger as the uh, dream world. And then I pick up a signal and go for it. And generally these kind of um, puzzles can be just dismantled and mentaled in the divine timing. So I'm just in that mode of decoding how our um, connections and and the things that need to be put into place in the biggest blueprint of this uh, new civilization that we are actually returning to. So that's uh, that's my 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 kind of a scope of work. That's why La Celle is very resonating because very similar. Also another kind of pair of yin yang, right? The, so block base is what you can. Um, paraphrasing as a LaSalle, right? LaSalle is a 12 people, it used to be a couple of them, guided by the sacred medicine and uh, initiate in Kabun and got the spirit to ask them to work on this 144 prophecies and of finding the right people to do these 12 topics and by gathering. That's all they knew, knew and they start doing it. You could say that I'm the um, similar version, but the opposite that I was um, kind of converged by expectations from more than many people, mostly in China, to to um, to work on this block-based trust, which is um, have the mission uh, three missions and uh, but all in a very abstract form, like how to. Uh, restore human trust and how to uh, purify money turn system and then bring heaven to earth and uh, remembering all the code. So in that process, I'm just following with uh, inner guidance uh, instead of the medicine 
uh, and I'm really grateful for all the synchronistic supports. But I'm personally trained as an architect. Like I, I train a designer, but I've been architect lots of ecosystem, especially in design industry and innovation industry. I'm co-working, co co-living in China. So, so that's a that's kind of a, how I combine those things together. Now, my next step is really tap into um, uh, work together in Ibiza to prototyping microscope of really bring all these ideas into uh, prototyping reality. So Lucia was this, you know, we we I work on the first group, and uh, not actively, and I invited them to Davos. So all our networks are kind of cross pollinating like a crazy, but uh, the, by guidance, right? Even like this, right? We cross pollinate anyway. So uh, we see how in the bigger picture what kind of role we really play. And uh, so this couple of days we're doing the conscious model, the model for this biggest corporate uh, corporation, corporate business model in Ibiza uh, for the for the next paradigm shift for in action. Some of the I did a few uh, weekend retreats and and uh, some of the leaders are moving in. So we really, really live here and we want to live the change we want to see instead of prototyping or gathering level. Mm. So from regeneration, system changing, wisdom council, education for future, wisdom, uh, whatever you can call it, the systematic uh, implementation of prototyping is on. So that's why I thought it would be very interesting to to the, I mean, let's see how, to be honest, they will be here, you know, temporarily or permanently, we don't know, but definitely they are here or they will be here. Um, so we were just putting that together. I will, I act as a sort of a wisdom keeper within this young uh, United Planet Ibiza, uh, but my sovereignty comes from block-based trust that we incubate, hopefully channel the different uh, financial resources to the project that I really personally think will determine the future, which is truly the redefine health and uh, risk consciousness in, in the tech uh, sector. So that's a bigger picture and just um, just kind of uh, how we're mapping, like what you're mapping behind you, right? Which part, where do you start? Which part do you talk about? Mm -hmm. But I would say the decode, the signals, and uh, kind of bring the codes and bring in the bl blueprint into it and um, work with the, with the people who are guided to work together. That's my, my principle. That's kind of um, summing up, I would say. Oh. If that's even clearer or more complicated than it's supposed to be. Well, I think what stands out and what, what has come to me too is, is that we need to gather the right people in the right place for enough time to share the knowledge that has come through different people that are holding sort of keys to the puzzle. Mm -hmm. And I've been sort of wondering, I feel like I've come out of research and now I'm kind of coming out with what I have. And, you know, it's a whole new world, right? I mean, it's, it's the whole world has changed right before our eyes. And uh, I feel that, you know, as this comes down to a sort of it almost feels like, you know, for the for the 6,000 years, whatever the cycle is, and the, it's coming to an end, the Jupiter-Saturn cycle coming in, in September, you know, I mean, December 21st has a huge impact, I think, on us, and then it's opening up for the next year, and next year by the Mayan calendar is, is the peak of the low mm -hmm. of the waves of creation until 2032, and so... I just see that as, I guess, kind of like, again, like a larger end cycle coming and pretty much a systematic destruction, I think, of many things that we know to be true. And so that's a, a perfect place actually to birth something new, but it, it has to sort of uh, come in a different way. Have you ever read the Foundation Trilogy by Isaac Asimov? No, but I just thought it's just more like a simpler version of a U lab. It's going to be in... in in systematic reality, I think it's like going down before going up. Right. Yeah. I, like, what happens if, like I was thinking, you're saying at Davros, you bring people everyone together to live together to figure things out kind of? Like, is there a chance that I could be one of those people? I've been doing this three years. That's how I invited all those people there, right? Let's see how, 
and uh, Lucien uh, that now many people coming here. So yeah, we were looking for that for sure. And um, that's what we've been doing. Well, no, no I, I was asking first about me because I, I've been, I feel like I have to leave Canada. I'm not so sure. And I think then you come to Ibiza then. <laughs> Everyone's coming to Ibiza next year. Well, yeah, like I was thinking, you know, I, I, I want to be around other systems architects. I want to be around. Exactly. We're, we just had a system, act, a system mapping architect workshop today. That's why I said I'm a little bit of, but I thought it's also the energy today. Uh, so, uh, yeah, like I, I really work as a practical mystic. I, I really want to say that out loud before I wasn't really, I'm just, uh, you know, mm. um, curator and trying to get things together. So I would say literally something's happening, right? We've been doing so much work to puzzle to in place, but since to yesterday as a one week away from 21st, and that's a really straight line to the portal, seven days. And um, we started a kind of uh, invisible work of uh, ceremonial work, but different way, right? We do the ceremony, blah, blah. I think we are looking at a second wave that I, I call it blobby style. Like yesterday, we do the inner work and the synergy with ceremony, tea ceremony. And nine archetypes show up, which is uh, very much about, you know, the land of temples and the wisdom keepers and sound and, and uh, you know, the seven, I call it, is a, there's a from mystic seven to eight about a structure and to nine completion. And we have nine showed up and uh, the inner works, the healing works, educational works, uh, systematic design works, technology were all showed up different archetypes. And today we did this and another nine people show up and really systematic architectural mapping. And uh, by using a united planet as a kind of way of a uh, name contain all of this. And as Ibiza, the prototyping land with a population 140,000, which is really interesting as well in a prophecy says, but of course it's just kind of man-made decoding. And we can look at um, really all this uh, blueprint redesign and as a, as, a, as a really great chance of implementation, uh, not only, uh, at least a pr prototyping. Eh? And also the, 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 from tomorrow, we have another uh, wave. So here is like a gathering ceremony, conscious living and nature as a, as a true virtue. And all this already in place here. So it's a very good testing bed for what the best um, version we can do. So and until 21st, we're going to have a four days. I'm designing like a block based kind of a way as to how to create the container that allows things to ferment and curate together. So we're going to four days, um, different hours, uh, Ibiza flow kind of workshop and 21st, 22 is sacred size visit uh, activations and also partnership, like really deep connection. These are all held in the... Um, healing and safety kind of container but all done for systematic mappers or architects so that's kind of the way we're trying to uh, start working already so i think today we fit in this line so that's why i feel i can take the call and see what message want to come through and lucia whatever next year for sure they're coming are they coming in a momentary gathering or permanent to prototype this together it's unknown but very big chance and because I, I will see lots of people who are coming. Um, it's it's gonna be a quite a quite a quite a track tracking point uh, for the for the experimentation to really happen. Davos has been a launching pad and Trajan force strategy and to really shuffle this uh, shift. Yeah, but here could be a quite a quite a land to practice that. So that's how the outline is. Mm. I think to be in Davos or not to be in Davos is already unknown now because uh, in May is in Singapore and we also plan a little bit uh, work around it. But um, but they claim coming back to Davos 2022. So that's kind of the background. We're all open to see it. Um, so I'd love to hear more about your mapping this tool because on the seventeen, because these days are truly intense. I right? would put a thirty years of learning and working in 
this week and seems like things that want to be stacking up and crystallizing together yeah. so uh and really in a morphic feel literally we're talking about the fear model everyone's so drained so we're already like sensing working like right presenting is not really there as sensing work nobody can work so they're directly knowing what to do what not to do in a collective field in this in this clean so i think it's very interesting to test out so love to know a, a little bit of kiss and buzz so on 17 where we're really mapping out more concretely okay. maybe we can put this into practice and then you're energetic already in the container that might be happening already so yeah i mean all years basically here mm -hmm. okay well i mean i'd be i would make myself available if you wanted some sort of zoom call or to zoom me into anything but I, I, we've been doing something really uh, radical like we're truly believing personal energetically differences so so I'm just more of less like uh, we, we're just physically being here and that doesn't count the, the Zoom thing, but Zoom part of it is is kind of information swamp. Yeah. So so in the future, for sure. Yeah. Well, I'm just I'm just saying I would make myself available if it was so needed. I The, the question, yeah, thank you. Then, if you're looking at the system and you see this map behind me, right? Beautiful. Yeah. Mayan calendar as a core. Uh huh. So this this I call the time translator and it, it came mm -hmm. through guidance mm -hmm. it the everything i've been working upon sort of builds upon it and it's it's nine cycles of time essentially Beautiful. and so the the outside purple one is the mm -hmm. zodiac and that's your lifetime and then the next the blue one is a year with 13 moons the next one is a moon with 28 days the next one is a day with 24 hours so this circle is one of these squares. This circle is is one of these squares, right? Like they, they, they're like embedded Russian dolls. But then it switches at the yellow circle. That's actually a season. And then you've got the 20 archetypes of the Mayan calendar. And that's where people go. And I don't know, like I have, you know, I don't know, you're probably very into numbers, but the number 20 is the first time the tetrahedron sort of squares itself and then becomes a whole again. And there's 20 amino acids. And have you ever heard of uh, James Miller's living systems theory? Uh, no, I would double check. Thanks so much for being the archive. Thank you. Okay. I would check. Yeah. He, his, he's got 20 subsystems that are either matter, energy, or information at eight levels of system. So from the cell to the organ, to the uh, person, to the in the larger social organizations, there are these 20 subsystems, like a decider, a boundary, a communication network, an engine, an inge ingester, an extruder, like they're kind of strange names, but mm -hmm. he, he it's, it's one of the best models I've seen for living systems. So it sort of makes sense to kind of follow that a bit. So just the idea of 20 as you know a very important number. So that's the switch point in the middle and that's where we have seasons because seasons are the things that really change everything, right? For us in, in our life. And then if you go to the pink one, that's an hour. And then the next one in is minutes. And then the next one in is, this is the present moment. Mm -hmm. And then the next one in, in is timelessness. So present moment is at eight and timelessness is at nine. And I, I'm sure that, you know, the, the relationship between eight and nine is a, I don't know, fascinating to me. To, to That's get. exactly my code. This is so interesting. Okay. Yeah, eight and nine is my code. So we, now we're talking, right? Okay. <laughs> well, so eight times nine is 72. And in the orange, you have, I have these 72 conversation types. Like a brainstorm is very different from a storytelling, which is very different from a design spec. So I sort of mapped out all the different business conversational patterns, have a card set, that then can be programmed but that's a side thing and that's in the like and that's again seeing how you can build layers on top of your foundational sort of model right but the the main thing is like this nice little uh, spurting thing here that is an indicator for levels of consciousness so you could put these seven chakras you could put the uh power versus force uh, evolution you know uh, enlightenment scale of zero to a thousand uh, do you know the what's his name Okay, it's just not getting me right now, but Paul Haw David Hawkins, Paul Hawkins, Hawkins. 
he wrote the book Power Versus Force and he was using muscle testing to, mm -hmm. to figure out the number or of consciousness of things. Anyway, so I mean, again, you could put any model in there to denote levels of consciousness. You could put the sutras of Panjali, you could put in the, the Hindu hierarchy. Um, so it's a way of integrating worldviews and mental models. A lot of the stuff I've been working with is, is conceptual model integration, right? Like, I mean, there's all these different models out there, but how do they all fit together? Yeah. So this is the first map that I've seen that puts together cycles of time with levels of consciousness in one model. Like usually you see levels of consciousness or you see something about time, but they're not putting those two things together. And I think those two things are essential because to really get to a place of higher levels of consciousness, you have to sort of get into a timeless state. Mm. So this is the beginning of creating, uh, then you bring in Ken Wilber's four quadrants, you know, of the inner you, the outer you, the inner group and the outer group. And so I have four levels. The first level is choice, mm -hmm. which is the inner you. The outer you is, is flow, which is you know, your highest performance state. And then at the inner group is synergy, mm -hmm. the best combination of parts. And then the outer group is harmony. So I have like a choice wheel, a flow wheel, synergy wheel, and a harmony wheel where then you cr I created a universal structure to organize any business. So, I mean, you can have research, infrastructure, learning, operations, creativity, synergy, uh, services, marketing, and stewardship with communication in the middle. But the main thing is all the maps are on uh, uh, circles. So what I've been working with is the circles that I found, I don't know, I think I saw that you were friends with Brett. Brett. Yeah, yeah, he's very present. Yeah. Okay, so I, I've known him over the. I mean, we all kind of know each other, right? Who are kind yeah, of yeah. system fringe or weirdos or whatever. And he has the software program New Map, which is the first software program that I ever found that had a circle interface. And did you ever use New Map or see it? Yeah, I see it. I know the. I, again, like we are totally coming from different processes. It's like a synchronicity. I kind of um, sponsored the programmer, the Chris, who did right, that. Right, okay. Yeah. So but that's, but that's it. And she showed me sounds very fascinating, at least visually, but I don't think it's actually further. It it didn't really go further. It's sort of well. I mean the. I played with it for a couple of weeks. Like sometimes I just jump in right to certain things and I, and I, I saw their software program and again, it's circle. So I, I jumped in and what, what it was missing to me was a symbol layer of how the circles actually create because the circles are, are creating geometric forms together. Right. And it didn't have that. So I kind of built that layer made card sets with it and then started playing with my stuff. Cause I mean, with, I have so much content to program into software programs. Like what I've been working on is a language structure, thinking that, you know, technology will catch up, but technology couldn't do what I wanted it to do. So I've been working just on conceptual maps and language, number, form, color, as the main organizers, because software, right, is so limiting. I mean, it usually comes from a programmer up, it gives you a certain screen, the database isn't multidimensional, and, you know, it's just very limiting whatever software you're using. And so I, I was creating the ideal language construct, waiting for some software to catch up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I, like I said, I don't know, but I just know. So I just feel bad somehow is very profound, but something's missing, very profoundly missing. In new map? Yeah. Well, what happens is, is like, let's say you, you're navigating in the new sphere, like, like to me, there's this great, huge connection point, right, on, online that's occurring. But the software hasn't quite created the right pathways for us to really connect together, at least in the way that I could see happening. And so when you're working with circles, you're, you're, you're navigating through kind of like pipes where the circle is, is a cross section of it, right? But if there's no end. Yeah, then you no get lost. You get no? you get totally lost, especially if you're working with some sort of fractal nature, mm. right? Which is where we're going. 
So to mm -hmm. me, the, the maps, what, what I had were the maps that actually gave the navigation screens to moving a new map. So new map was again, part of the inflow matrix, what I saw. Yeah. But I've seen little bits and pieces of the software program, but because I haven't had like software development team for five years to kind of do what I wanted, um, you know, I've just been working in the conceptual world. So that that's again, just another piece of the puzzle. But I, I, a question I have for you is like, for what you guys are doing, mm -hmm. what is your time reference point? Like, are you using the old calendar system? Is, is that? Uh, I, I right now the the system I think is an easy layer of let's let's put an idea. I think uh, for how we were built up, and I want to adopt this as a Lucian's story, right? Lucian storytelling format. Um, it's more about um, yeah, just telling the best story. So he was using lunar calendar to showcasing with respect to the loon, uh, the Luna, which you saw there, to using SDGs, but rewrite the language so it doesn't sound so programmated, but it sounds more, you know, regenerative. So this is more like a language um, upgrading. That's it. Uh, but I would I would say the language is spell, so it's very powerful already. And then doing the gaming format to communicate more efficiently as a fun and bonding. And then the uh, always have a yin elements, which I was playing and the yang elements. So in a balance, so it's still the expression is a very simple little game, but trying to using this uh, 16 different games to, to fractal fact. Uh, bundle people in different fractals around the world. So it spread this message of United Planet. So this is a, a storytelling aspect of it. Technology part of it is still have, have not even started. So the idea is how we can plug in and play and in our vast ecosystem we, we, we have right now. So we're trying to mapping out that part. And the, the, the visible uh, adaptation and research, action research, prototyping in Ibiza as a concrete example. That's really where United Planet is. So time point, uh, I can say the lunar calendar, if you, you say that way. Um, but I personally definitely, um, I think all those things you were mentioning, I will. I worked a lot on that, or remembrance in a sense. So my calendar very strongly. Earth Ascension, really important book that impacted my, yeah, my worldview. How this uh, timeline of East and West co co coincide together, and uh, yeah, for me, timing is everything. So when you mention about what time, like what's time, I would say all. So so somehow. It resonate there. I just didn't put that way. My uh, my computer works on symbols and work on inner guidance, direct guidance, embodied guidance. So I cannot explain. So the reason I like this because we are the yin and yang, completely opposite, but I can understand a different way. So if I use the design theory, it's kind of boring for me to, exp ex to explain in the linear. So yeah. I just love people like you. It's like a supercomputer. We understand, but we, we are completely the opposite. And yeah. then we can match them and that kind of, you know, so that if I, I think you understand, and when I speak is mostly transmission, this is just blah, 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 but uh, trying to get the message across. And then, then we really form the abundance and abound sometimes the dream circles and things to start developing multidimensionally. So I, that's how, how I work on my time. If you want to, if that vaguely gets some idea, <laughs> but that's, that's the best I can describe or not describe. I, I well, I've spent most of my time with spiritual visionaries. I was, uh, you know, I've, you get I know. With other I people, it. right, who are yeah. interested in the same things, and but they're not. All of them are very unique in terms of <laughs> yeah, in, yeah. In terms of many things, they're very unique. <laughs> There's no uh, way you can find okay reference, I would say, but so well, yeah, and I think you know, I guess the reason I, I what, what do you think about what I just showed you in terms of that cyclical map for time, like, because what you were saying, like you, you answered in terms of, well, we're working on this sound, sound like storyline, right? And that's a layer and there's all yeah. these different layers. 
but to yeah. me, the underlying layer to create the common reference point mm -hmm. for, our, for our minds is time. I mean, Jose Arguez says, as space is to the body, time mm -hmm. is to the mind. Yeah. And so to me, there's a, the trap, the big trap of the old paradigm is the old timing system that, that doesn't really sort of honor the 13 moons at all. Uh, with this. So in order to make the new paradigm, we need to have a, a reference point in time that we can all kind of agree to if it actually, you know, is, is real in existence in a sense. Mm -hmm. And so yeah. if uh, the idea that, if it, let me just finish this. Um, okay. So I've had this imagination for sort of like a, a communication room for each community that has like the time translator in the middle and then you have like, here's where you're looking at your year, here's where you're looking at your lunar month, over here is you're looking at your day, and over here you're looking at your present moment. And I actually had a studio for about a year where I painted, I had a 30 by 20 room that I painted into four quadrants and co totally co color coded. That was the red, the blue, the yellow, and the green. And then each one would be set up as an office with the maps for that particular time period. And the idea, I mean, you know, I was using pretty, um, you know, basic stuff, but you see the software in, in these movies where you're moving everything around and putting, you know, the, we're moving into a holographic software system. It's already there, right? So I, I feel like I've got the design for that and I'm just waiting to, to now create it in, in the technology. And I think that every, I mean, I also had some buildings called dream spaces which was a, a sort of a unique, it wasn't a community space, it wasn't an event center, but it was combining a lot of different creative elements where uh, like we're, we're lacking some spaces in our communities, at least in Canada, to, to bring people together, to create together. And so the idea of a dream space, and then in the middle of the dream space was this community communication room. And if you look here, uh, that's a synergizer. And this is what I learned was you could create sacred geometry on tables and then use them for divination practices and so one of the, the biggest things that i've learned and everything i've done is people love group divination they just love it they, that's all they want to do they want to turn cards over and, and see something <laughs> so i've got this card set it's actually like six card sets of four of about 400 cards that has a value set communication the com condo cards and then cards at the choice, the flow, the synergy, and the harmony levels. So when you turn the cards over, they're acting as lenses for you to answer the question. And it, and it worked, like, I swear, it works like a charm. Like, you people sit at the table, they turn the cards over, they ask the question, they answer the question, it goes to the next person, but, and then you get the collective intelligence of the people giving the feedback or insights or intuitions, which, of course, all these people have, and people just love it. And so I think a tar tarot is like ingrained it in our DNA yeah. or something. Yeah. But me the, too. I love it. But the thing about the tarot is it because it's so symbolic and sort of to some worldviews appears like it's satanic or something, right? I mean, you know, Christians and First Nations people, they don't want anything to do with it. So you, you got to be careful so that my cards are round again and they, you know, they're business language. You know, exactly. It, no, you have to, and yeah. they're just a word. There's no symbol. So you can't kind of, so it's, it's just very different, but I sort of have everything, let's say I've invented, I found that divination again, like when we do maps, you can create a, a, an actual value system for your business and you can choose the values and put them there. But if they have the choice with their, with divination, like 90% of the people and all the women choose the divination, they don't want to think about it. Yeah, and, yeah, then, yeah. and then they get the value system. And they love it. Like they don't want to change it. They just, you know, so, so it's. Well, again, divination is like a supercomputing. So it's even, it's, it's a concrete and, uh, and precise. So why, why direct knowing, why not? So I think it's a great, great way in any way. So wonderful. So it's almost like you, you are in, do, in the analog term, you figure this all out already. It's just more of you're waiting how, how like digitally it can be upload it to the digital world that's how you're visionizing all this or yeah like i've had a um uh oh if i lose you here 
Um, I'm here. I, okay. I just, something's happened on my screen. I've had one programmer that I've been working with to create a kind of like an online divination, press the button, here's a question and here's an answer using the cards. So we actually had gotten close to programming a chat room where yeah. the chat room would have a goal, a timer, a, a value, a conversation type, uh, like very, very interesting. And we almost got to the end of that. And then his girlfriend broke up with him. <laughs> And that, then I lost. <laughs> so he's he's just cut. And then I tried to do it simpler to do just a little divination thing before and again. As you know, I think uh, I, I, you know everything happens for a reason. I did it with like a David, it was Chris so many times trying to get the Supernode network online, trying to get this kind of, you know, every kind of version of it. And right. all the ways the tech people always something, something happens. So I surrender. But on the other hand, I do feel because all our vision is way, way too big to be held by uh, two gigs. Yeah? yeah. So it's a revolution on a tech consciousness right embodied by the wizards collective that will make stuff where i would say see or see or whatever visionize or dreaming uh will will be will be brought in into that space so i think that's why it's impossible so better not trying it you you're not gonna build a skyscraper with two builders and so <laughs> i think it's, a, it's a, just a way of kind of telling us stop and work on what we, we're doing and Divide timing, right? In Taoism, I mean, I would only work on timing. When you get timing right, everything coming into that. That's why that will resonates with me. Just, but I work much on on symbols, which I don't even understand or understand in a different way. So I just think this way, I'm not sure um, how that contain that information because symbol contain more information. Right. So, so like a wheel of such is more to make people understand or there's you you have you think you just you just have like 100 different tools to present in one exactly how you contain all the super data basic together because that's my confusion like i i have no way to distribute all my data you know right so so i know that my way is simple that's why it will happen somehow it's eventually mm. but but the, the, what you're doing probably fitting very very well with today's theme with United Planet, uh, different games, uh, different leads. They call it um, you know the 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 Olympians for systematic changing or mm -hmm. or you know then having this method plug in. So that I think that's the code for for our conversation. So is it, but United Planet has an ambitious of you know. The, the paradigm par paradigm citizenship like Gaian uh, evolutionary uh, efforts movement. So I think this is uh, the code, right? So we we can we can just happy that imagine there are lots of a uh, uh, programmer and resource can be done. What this can be used for? I think that would be the very good uh, scenario. Um, you know, envision uh, process we can go through because definitely I'm going to share this with Lu Qian and. Uh, in seventeen on seventeenth workshop, where really quickly, really quick, this this is divide timing. I, I I see that very clearly. So so let let's go go forward. Can you share the master your killer tools beside that wheel, the card, anything? Let's bring it on. So I would love to get it all. You need some more right now, like yeah yeah yeah. Well, th this okay, this table. I don't know if you can see this one. Transformation field. So this is like my head. <laughs> Um, there's one of the models or something I've been playing with. It, it's like 12 fields and I only use four fields, but yeah, I'd love to hear what the field. Okay. So the field, if I, let me say that, so there's a calibration field, activation mm -hmm. field, inspiration field, uh, self-actualization field, formulization field, uh, integration field, participation field, uh, attraction field, collaboration field, transmission field, generation field, and transformation field. They all sound nice, eh? but they, they actually, again, connect into the, 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 the time translator, but add in, you, when, you know, when you go from nine to 12, that's also a big thing. If you have the nine and then the, the 12 is kind of like the three going through it, like 12 doesn't quite come together. 
I don't know if, if you, I just played with these things. So, so this, this table behind has a polarity mm -hmm. for each field. And then again, you can sit there. Like I was in one room and I had a 12 table, a four table and a six table. And I had like people like 12, 18, 22 people. Well, There's probably 30 people in the room, but, and then I, I took them through a divination where they're all sitting at the table with the cards. And uh, it was fascinating, you know, because, you know, people act differently in conversation when divination's involved because their agendas are gone and everyone's trying to figure out what something means as opposed to just kind of stating their normal conversational programs or patterns, right? So it just, it completely changes the nature of how humans interact together. And it, it's, it's a, for brainstorming or for figuring out something new, it's, mm -hmm. it's, it's such a, a more powerful methodology, but you know, most businesses or most straight people, they, they all they think is tarot and they, they don't, they don't think about the sort of divine nature of, of sync of, you know, patterning and, uh, Again, over all these years of everything I've come across, it's it's something that that just fascinates me because it 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 creates a deeper listening. Like people are really paying attention when if they get their turn, and then they know they're part of a process, and then they know that their turn comes, and then and and it's just I I just got so frustrated with normal human communication. <laughs> You mean the social talks? Yeah. Oh, just, <laughs> just drove me like it, and and this is this is kind of like made it far. I thought it would help me out, but it, it made it harder because now I've got some sort of thing operating, and my my listening is very different. And uh, so I've got these. Uh, I don't know if you can. I got it too. I got it. See, I'm, I'm just let me see what else I can find for you. That like what 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 you're just looking for some more kind of tools or. Uh... Let me let me think. I mean, like I said, because it's more of the timing thing. I think it's great to to know more. I I think the wheel is very interesting, and the divination principle of gamifying social build or uh, human interaction, which fitting really hundred percent for today's. Um, Topic. So I think uh, I got the essence already. So so in in this, how you develop those tools? Let's say I, I just know a little bit more about you because it's you know I always say you cannot create anything beyond your consciousness. I mean your connected consciousness. So it's nice to. <laughs> oh, I like that. Yeah, you 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 qualify to be a geek, uh, the communicational geek. That's perfect. <laughs> Well, it's funny because in, in the Luciel calls, I'm the only one who puts the background on. And then what happens is at different times of people speaking, I'll change the background because I think I have a map or I think I want to, you know, I, I want to play. And you can just tell they're kind of putting up with me, but, you know, they're <laughs> like having the one class clown who's always throwing the airplane. At the yeah, 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 exactly. That's, that's so neat. So neat. Okay. <laughs> but so, I'm happy to hear that it, the sales going so far and really trying to work. work it because, um, yeah. The first year was so dreadful. I'm like we know it's of service, but like what the hell are we doing? And they have no clue. Second year, they still they 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 have something going on, but really they have no clue what to do. It's so cute, uh. But but I think it is really important what the next they're gonna do because um was first year I invited so many and they're they're not coming back and so I, I'm not gossiping. I'm just really think we are cousins and definitely we're doing this together. So I'm just. To just have this like a curiosity but also just wish that things can all evolutionary leap next but but how you uh one one basically uh let's say i want to using this um uh, some of the tools for the online gathering or possible offline gathering right yeah put it simply yeah well yeah well, I, I think yeah. i think they are the really like uh like human um 
curators of identify uh, people and try to get people together and having this field. But this is perfect fit in for that one shot. And uh, but uh, I think United Planet or block based or trying to do is a is the same thing, but have a different fractal. And this could be really useful in some of the project or it, or Ibiza cases. So I think I got that. I just, so I just want to know like what what kind of uh, tools you feel that imagine uh, two scenarios. I'm just curious using these questions and probably tools come. Uh, one is to developing this future wisdom school, which academy, whatever you want to call it, it to really um, create alternative teaching for the kids. So mm. not not them, uh, you know, domesticate them, uh, not pollute, the c contain them with conditioning. Mm. Uh, Ibiza is a great place to um, experiment. I'm guided to do this. Um, although literally, I think the, the it's, uh, it, it, it's kind of interesting, new territory, but old territory, because uh, we have been, like Jinky, I'm teacher, philanthropist, and culture, right? The per pearl. So I'm, I think it's perfectly fitting what I'm doing now, which is quite interesting. Um, so I'm guided to see children holistically redefining, uh, mm. you know, lifelong learning, because in our belief, we, we even facilitate much bigger realms, right? So um, this part, what kind of tool you think will be, that's such a great punchline and we can use it to develop organizations and collaboration, teaching models and stuff like, maybe it's too too specific because it's, it's, it's systematic. The other, I'm 100% sure there's a plug-in and play great opportunities within the, the United Planet prototyping one, even though the 16 games now are designed for offline, but I'm like collecting data, love to know more. And then we can plug in in one of the, uh, one of the topics within the game. So we can testing okay. and from block base uh, point of view, we, we want to facilitate 2021 um, Singapore WEF or SDG, um, a supernova gathering in Ibiza uh, or Sweden. So on like on site uh, also probably the cell are going to involve for on site also needed to facilitate the best way of social communication. That's a very small thing. So I think the best match is this United Planet mm. format of gaming. That's almost hundred percent matching into the ecosystem. So that uh, that's what I see. So love to hear your spontaneous or what anything come up from you from those scenarios well the i i agree with you in terms of i think that the the design into a game i mean you learn way better in games it's a lot more fun i'm much more game oriented because of, you know, yeah. um have you ever played magic the gathering a card game have you ever heard no of it? no it's it's the most popular game on the planet and kids know like you get what they did was they, instead of a card deck that everyone uses, you build your own card decks. And so, you know, you have these cards and uh, like it's, look up, Matt, write this down, Magic the Gathering. And- Magic Gathering. Magic the Gathering. I, I was taught it a couple of years ago and it's, it's like way better than chess. It's just, it's fascinating, but it's a card game. And it's, again, it's the most popular card game on the planet that, you know, if you're not playing it, you don't even know it, but it's, but it's, it's like kids all across the world love this game. So I, I've been working on an idea called Planetary Guardians as a, as a media game where you look at each issue in the, in the world, let's say old growth forest protection or protecting the, the, the uh, dolphins or whatever it is, and you create a web TV show specifically for that issue and then you you make it a game in order to, to create these planetary guardian teams where the kids get to play the game and solve the issue mm -hmm. so it, it's like there's there's so many gamers across you know world of warcraft there's like 40 million people 100 million people playing this game online right now all the time 10 hours a day and couldn't we take that same energy and, and put it towards something real, like make a real game? Like I think business software isn't gamified enough and gaming software isn't business enough. 
So part of the inflow matrix, what I've been looking at is how do you make interfaces to create a game where you're bringing teams together in a story that is linked into you know, whatever issue you wanna solve. And so again, like I've got boxes and maps. I, like I've been designing basically for 25 years and twice I burned my work completely and said, you know, and, and I've been saying, you know, give it to me, man. <laughs> just, I will be thy instrument. Just give me what it is. And, and, you, and you know, it's, it's an insane path of, <laughs> of mm-hmm. magic and, and despair, you know. That, so I totally, I totally understand what you mean, and I want to uh, just bounce back and see. This is just like chatting, can information come out? And this summer, I was uh, playing with the one game called Spot, and uh, is it all coming from you know we all have the same vision that to be able to raise the consciousness. First, I work on sacred sites, and there's a lot of us. So we're working Shambhala consciousness for the next wave um, when we're hitting the U-turn. And um, the, the other one is so many hundreds, hundreds of, uh, you know, workers and be doing land built projects. So uh, now we are in a stage of how can we put it in human life instead of etheric, right? So spas is like if you all the super nodes who have your houses or places that you can initiate uh, missions or you know, and that like TikTok square, uh, four square, uh, mission, uh, gaming and teaching and learning that kind of thing. And then make it, uh, spots, uh, map on the world. So wherever you go, you know, the safe, trusted, fun, super note places and the process of learning and the gaming five vision, we did the analog version here. And there's a very nice, um, game designers, um, I think the florist, I don't know if you know him in Holland, he knows Brad very well too. And he was facilitating, but he's a very analog person, right? Very facilitator for, for a person. So there was a mag, really magic and that's almost part of reason Luci and all this magic start happening. They moved to Ibiza. So it's a, it's a trailer. So I still feel that project as a digital tool need this layer and for the children's learning. So I see there's a tremendous potential to bring your talents into this. And it's like a incubation. Let's, let's call it, let's, let's, let's ferment a little bit further. I, I love that you bring this up. So, so I'm more convinced how this should, the outline of this children um, project should look like. Yeah, yeah, I think this, uh, how you, how in what stage do you feel you have a way of user scenarios or you feel hey i'm the library i just waiting for it to be opened well i mean most most of my stuff has been let's say whether underfunded or just you know funded by me so Mm -hmm. i i I haven't had you know the funding to actually really see what i can do but i i've been very hesitant around interacting actually with a lot of money because it's, I, I found you can waste a lot of money if you don't know what you're doing. And also just money can kind of really change. Like I've seen, I've been part of organizations watching how they spend their money and what they do. And sometimes it's actually very kind of dumb, like because, yeah. the, because the money changes the nature of, of really what you're doing. So I, I think that a lot of breakthroughs are usually made by artists, right? Who are yeah. struggling, but you you're not sort of limited by let's say what the funder wants you to do or or something like that mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. most of my stuff is sort of like at a place of prototype that is like the next level is okay now let's go build it right so my prototypes are and and i've got most of my prototypes are always unfinished right i'm a classic inventor who can't finish anything he's <laughs> always moving between things so you know to have a team and to to work with other people. To answer your question, I guess it's, I don't know. I mean, I, I, I mean, I've just, you know, when you're driven by something, you're almost insane to everybody else. And, and what you think is normal or, or obvious, no one seems to understand. And again- I would I say that. we have the tribe coming from future. So it's like, um, you just have to swallow it. Yeah, and I've got a sort of eccentric sense of humor that always seems to come in that 
I, I just we're in a big comedy show and I, I i just i feel like i'm the central character so <laughs> which your background shows that i yeah. know okay, i'm on a space probably we have a real visitor soon but anyway we don't know i i, I think honestly um the, the, there's thing also i i i 100 with you i know what you're talking about and when when block right there's a there's a big block of a t talk about money and i know that all of us know the reason we don't really become a bill gates because we really don't know how to play that game or don't like to play that game and also even slightly intimidated by that game but that system is wrong so there's no way we ever learn because this is just this dissonance in operational system so so that part things are happening and changing and um i work uh, around it but you know it's a, it's it's interesting to as a self-growth uh, exploration so in this money sand brad will keep talking about the spiritual philanthropy mm. i didn't like the name because i feel mm -hmm. however i am um involved in this global philanthropy circle which is lots of funders are really working for spiritual civilization in our online gatherings i found their understanding of spirituality is still in a mindfulness and meditation stage and um, I, I might be wrong i might be discover more and you know it's very shallow uh, conversation after two days gathering but that's what i feel um is even the cell right they don't really know what kind of people they got they have no sense of that and i do i mean that that's how i'm specialized in it which i don't know but i know kind of a specializing so in that money part of it if we have a good expression and good of storytelling and I found that PPT is useless and I found the two, you know, 10 hours talk on Zoom is, is very hard to build the trust. There's a process of getting funding for the right people. And that's like a pregnant, like a really, th this is a process we need to understand. I, I don't think you can help, but I'm just saying this part, believing they're really meaningful, uh, well-meant funders are there. But the way to be communicating this uh, except you show them or you do it. That's why I do block base. I I do it because it's holistic experience that you you know something. What is that, right? But but the but the how we present your thing in so many complexity is difficult. Like can we write books? Let's say write books, whatever, whatever. Uh, but these things are not linear thing. How so you? best way i i suggest is like plug into this complex tools and we play together and hopefully that now what we are trying to all emissions is that we plug in the completely super machine or organism or ecosystem organism or prototyping and uh find found this big co-op of biggest on the world and channel in the traditional old and impact different money in which is different people within this core group gonna do so each find our fractal to work so i think your game gamified like a, i call it a geek uh, genius is still part of the product development part but in a bigger game because we are built for really systematic upgrade it's very sad because it takes a longer time to see the result but i think it's time is here finally so how can we translate and forward this information of your your tools everything is is a challenge and for for everybody so i think you probably have that as well but do you have a sort of booklet do you have kind of ppt whatever i, I, I haven't actually like again i know certain areas I, i'm kind of like to, to actually every time i sit down and write about something another map comes in like i I know it's different thing, right? It's a different thing. Well, yeah. it's frustrating because you know there's certain obvious things I know that need to get done that I haven't done and seem unable to do. Because a lot of times when I sit down to do something, something else comes through and it's magnificent, it's wonderful, but it's it's just another thing. And you know, I it's <laughs> yeah, I, I I know what you mean. I know totally know what you mean and um i think we we see the i see the similarity with about my like system so that's why i found a bit less plug in that bigger bigger system and uh when i have sort of 
the question mark of the particular game. Let's look in your toolbox. And I'm, I'm, we have a list, really nice shaman from New Mexico called Why Eagle Woman. She she just said, "Hey, I'm library. I cannot say more because she she she's a wisdom keeper for this so called thirty thousand years wisdom." She said, "I'm library. So will will wisdom how to organize the organization? You ask me. Join the workshop. Blah blah blah. I think that's teacher. Teacher is a different thing." Uh, then the, I would say decoder, you know, I think we are kind of a decoder and it has to, the machine are so gigantic and we have to fit the right time and not going to be contained by a PPT. I kind of gave up. Uh, so let's, let's wait for the right timing, but consider this seed in a dream field about Ibiza because physical, uh, workshop will never, never replace this thing. This is, this is, this is happening in a right. informational right. field, but it's still, and then maybe, maybe something really need worse in the field. Second is I'm really uh, grateful. So now we're connected and um, in the process of a prototyping mapping, uh, maybe you can send me um a few lines about the tools I, as I explained to, I will forward you the United Planet plan. And so you have a very visual, they are good at doing PPT and fancy PPT because in a storytelling. Um, but as Ibiza citizen, we call it a guardian citizen. Uh, I'm definitely, we're all in this kind of co-op spirit there. So I'm part of this, um, uh, on this van and maybe you will find a few tools you find okay this kind of things you can uh so we'll probably support our 17th workshop as soon as 17th already because this week is so phenomenal because i know it's phenomenal in an invisible way so let's try to chipping um chipping that that's what i feel and i can give you more feedback uh after this little testing lego land thing and get more information and then really wave you into this uh, more more concretely. I think that would be the the probably the next step. Yeah. Okay, and I'm just seeing here. You said May in Singapore in 2021. Is that the next kind of big event you're you're looking at? That's the World Economic Forum, okay. and uh, and uh, they're gonna hold in in Singapore. So right now, what I I, I I will see the, the coming three months are going to be so turmoil. I don't know what's going to happen, but the the goal is to be there having open mountains, one of my spiritual projects that's, um, that's really, um, it's one of the key projects the the, 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 the sacred size of a college, uh, Mount Kailash and then the, the sacred site and activation and art exhibition uh, related to sacred art. And that will, with the investment, which is another term I corn into, you know, investing everything that doesn't, you don't understand with numbers and measurable data. And that will be an investment kind of platform to present anything related to redefine health and wealth and, and our culture, basically. So that might be, that's the time we can represent, present different things and invite people doing this. But those are old paradigm, you know, bringing the gathering, getting people together in the old system so we can merge both. Uh, but in Ibiza, we are more like 5D directly. How can we prototype him with the same soul and um, similar soul? So this is uh, happening both here uh, on daily basis and there as like, you know, global. And uh, but the, but um, uh, in Sweden, we also are planning a gathering, which is uh, also a combination of such. So next year, we definitely are called to do a big gathering for sure. And let's say I'm probably going to be invited. So that's kind of the um, framework. But, but yeah, that's so, a, is there we, a we have to see what happens. Would it be a good idea for me to perhaps come to Ibiza next year? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Envision that for sure. Absolutely. I mean, you will see lots of people moving to Ibiza. You will see. We started the... Because I, I mean, mm -hmm. I, I definitely, you know, I, I've seen that 
you know, I kind of, you know, I flower around situations where, you know, there, there's a lot of people who are sort of heading in the same direction, but normal social life is, I don't know. We are not really part of that. We're really living in a parallel universe. I, I feel sometimes I were like, when my honeymoon will going to end, I don't know. But the, here somehow we're really living in a quite um, alternative um, paralyze, paradise. Um, today we were talking about, because all of us are more systematic architects. So we are quite used to the old world and new world and we're also quite a geeky, I think. Uh, but um, the other guy was sharing. I think is he said right. He says just we came here two years ago, and then we meet everybody. Their eyes like pop up with the lights, and that's what the hell is this place? And then you realize because they're so connected, they're so speaks, and you were like, I think that resonates with me a lot. And I think we don't look particularly that much spiritual which because we are a little bit we use our mental power to generate our voice also within the different systems but but here truly is a different level of consciousness that's to also impact the field mm. one of my work one of my th really important work is to work on the spirit here on the land for the emotional release and also remedy for bringing different uh, components. I'm learning and I'm just starting and magically empower, powerful. So I also will see different changes there. And that's that. That's kind of a systematic change I work on. Of course, it's kind of a lead, uh, mental part. I'm I'm put more of like supporting role, hopefully. Uh, but but um, you will see the changes that the systematic changes architects and male like more brainy people were also coming in because it's needed because really the the you know you cannot expect the healers to do all the things but it's important so um i'm just saying this so you you your your subconscious also get more information from the land <laughs> hopefully you will think about next year yeah i think let's say for sure we're gonna be here there's no question a short term long term i'm not sure for sure next year yeah we will definitely have a, this influx of a, a small gatherings and uh, happening here. Yeah. Well, and I think my the process I'm going through with CL is it's going to make me sort of get everything in a professional level. So it's for me, it's small steps where I have to do it and just have to do it. And so we're, we're at a stage where we're going to be looking at, you know, well, what are we going to teach other facilitators and what which pieces of at least my puzzle is, is going to be contributed with the others so you know i i you know step at a time and as you said the, you, you can't sort of go against timing the divine timing of things so uh, sometimes it just opens up and everything's easy and it's amazing and other times it, it ain't <laughs> yeah how's your horoscope and, and like a timing part of it uh, are you a very um into it or how do you see this uh this divide timing this week well this week i don't know like i've had neptune's on top of my moon squaring my venus mars conjunction so, so i mean everything's been a bit sort of uh, cloudy for a few years and i'm I'm waiting till neptune can go through pisces personally uh i do track it a bit i go in and out depending if, if i find i'm in front of a really big wall i'll, I'll go check and see and you know usually saturn is doing something very badly to my chart <laughs> who's who's certain doing good it's just uh, just testing no i know well yeah um yeah yeah i mean i i love to speak about horoscope much more but but it just i think people like you said it more like a boring or satanic flair about it it actually is a real cosmological scientist mm. science but now it's somehow it become i don't know it's this energy of that word became blah. Uh, I, luckily, my end seems a little bit coming up, but but I think timing's everything. Hopefully, we 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 can wash out those concept. If your time will serve that purpose, that that that's that that that's great, really really great. So you only have those joint map as a as an information, right? Not uh, explanatory text. Or, 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 I have, you know, I, I have some like it's um and I. I'm pretty sure if I sit down and do it, like it, it does kind of flow out when it, when the time's right. I just, I'm working on so many different things. You know, I'm just, 
I'm uh, sort of opened up this creative portal and, and haven't quite been able to understand how it quite works yet. So uh, I do have some other people I'm working with that are quite good writers. So perhaps together we can build something. Um, but I, I'm sure this is for you. You said you're in a big day, you're in the middle. So I, I don't want to overtax you. Yeah, yeah. I'm just keep thinking about what the what what is the message. Uh, you yeah, just just get more more information. Yeah, let let's uh, let's carry on the talk. And if you could send me um yeah a few sh a few text uh, like some text and come with those charts and the field charts and the 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 yeah the system of charts and that would be probably help or probably i i was suggesting recently with lots of my wizard friends instead of of course easier was we interview but interview for me is also you know become a chatting and kind of just get information for my system not really for myself so it's good like so it, it might be helpful that you do more of a q and a a recording on zoom itself and that would be um very helpful for for us we all archive information as such because we inevitably come into this kind of video time and uh, use ot uh, we can uh, you know translate into words and, and that would be very useful for everyone i think that then we can add a trailer to to preserve that context so i think that could be a way if you yeah. if you that would be easier to record a few slots to explain the charts more concretely and consistently and that that, that might helpful i would be really love to if you can send me uh a recording regarding that time space one that 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 will be helping the systematic um, organizational or or operational or the particular scenario in a you know one because i don't know if you have one already if you don't i think that would be well, great I, I am working on a my first online course called design your ideal job um, a design uh, what design your ideal job okay like, that's that's boring we don't have a job here we, we don't work here okay i just thought with 100 million people out of work that uh to create the I like what I see is we want to create our ideal job and then work towards it. And so like this is like a lot of people, they don't kind of, they haven't mapped out exactly what they want to do. And it's not like a job where you're coming to your job and you have to do all these things. Your ideal job is maybe playing ping pong, playing basketball, teaching us, you know, what are all the most important things you want to do? What are your gifts? What do you love to do? And then design it, actually put it on paper. And, mm. and see what it would look like and see how you make money. And I don't think anyone ever does that. So because of all my tools, I've got this, you know, ideal business system. And and so it's like, how do you create what you want to create within this? And then we all help each other kind of get it is the idea. Mm -hmm. Okay. But I think that's, um, that's probably helping the world, not, not our parallel universe. We were joking today. It's like nobody here we work we, we just we apply but at the same time that we solve the financial issues through um, this shared abundance that we can design together plug in but again it's ideal but i think it's happening um i will send you one thing and just like because i send of one of my friend also a huge uh, note i call it super note right? connecting with all health um alchemist and scientists so i would like to get this talent pool more organized which is not possible you know uh, so i write, wrote this outline on leadership embassy so i have a little bit of explanation what, what that elements of it i don't call it i used to call it our heart lab and i encrypted and now i want something you know more more understandable um, maybe other other words come up, but have a look at it. And that modules, I I might especially in a systematic part. If you feel um, yeah inspired, and some tools will be helpful. Uh, maybe we can base on that to 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 add on. And uh, I will also send you the United Planet deck. So the whole picture, you also have a full full on uh, understanding have you took like a uh, look at a um, block-based website 
I did. I, I did. Which this. is which is we call it like two percent of encrypted information. <laughs> so people are like that doesn't really show what Blobbase is. I said I don't know how to show it online, but we are working on the Blobbase Trust upgrading, and that became such a huge project. I haven't been updated since two years. So. So it's, uh, I'm also in the process of uh, reshuffling based on Ibiza life and also this, this paradigm shift are going to happen. So we are in a critical time. So happy to connect with you. I'm believing there's a code within it. Let's just uh, explore what is it, okay? Okay. Thank you so much for your time and uh, really thanks for you doing this whole downloading work and creative work so we could, uh, you know, plug in and play soon. All right. Great to meet yeah. you. Very nice to meet you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.